experience center. Uh, I'm so glad I came already. Uh, but here's the plan. Uh, we're going to do a museum tour and then I think we have a reception here tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow we go to Road Atlanta. Uh, and then uh, Friday, so, so today's Thursday and Friday, we'll go up to, uh, up to the mountains around 2 p.m. Uh, I didn't I didn't get my car here. I just couldn't get it here in time uh, So I'm gonna experience this from the passenger seat in some cases. I got some ideas for some videos I'm gonna vlog this whole journey I'm gonna do a better job vlogging this year than I have in the past and just kind of capture You know what we're doing here at this different event, but you know, we've got hundred and twenty five GT cars that are all descending on the mountains some guys are already up in the mountains There's a bunch of cars in the parking lot but uh, yeah, it's so cool to see old friends make new friends, but this is gonna be the biggest event by far, almost double last year. So I'm gonna bring you along for the journey, show you different cars, uh, and uh, there'll be a bunch of different videos in this series. Uh, I'm gonna get some photos, and uh, just, uh, like I said, bring you along in the experience with me from my perspective. And check out who made an appearance. We all know this old boy. This is my, my, my Sapphire, Sapphire Blue GT3 that started it all for me. So it has the silver cage inside, lowered. Sweet. Just to give you the flavor for different dot ones, dot two, RS's, GT3's. There'll be a bunch of GT4's. Maybe some 997 cars here. All, all walks of course of life. Steve here's uh, Targa. I think his uh, GT3 got delayed. So, look who made it. Car's looking clean. Thanks, man. No one trusted that Adam could keep his car clean, and that they'd assumed that you would just wash it with a Brillo pad and ruin it. No, I, I said, I got it. He's my boy. He's got this. I did a really, really, really nice job on it, but it's been through a track day, so it is. Yeah, pretty. looks good. But yeah, look at this. So now we're going over to the. I guess this is the museum. And we're gonna go in there in a little bit, but GT cars everywhere. Yeah, I've been I've been at the hotel. I hadn't been to the uh, in the museum though. I got in so much trouble last year when I drove this in the mountains, and I didn't get any get you any exterior shots of the uh, turbo, the turbo S. So here you go, all the exterior you can want. Let me do a whole walk around for you. It's clean too. You gotta get all the cars now while they're clean because they're all about to get dirty. This is where I guess we're doing our evening reception. This is where you picked up your car. Yep. Text going on with my darn. There we go. Fingerprint capital of the world. I can't say that my video. I'm gonna get offended, but I can say Yeah, it. yeah. I'm offended. You're hurting my sensibility. I've never been over there. Are those all the cars? I don't know. Yeah, there's a touring in the showroom here, just a meager 285,000. Base price 143, equipment 139. Yeah. Uh, for what? I think this has all kinds of CXX options on it. What's that? Well, individualization. How could there be 285,000? Or maybe this somebody did this and made this? That's insane. Do you spend more than an RS on one of these? Uh, I mean, it's 143. They, they got... How's that possible? I don't know. Possible. Maybe that's not this car. Maybe that's just something somebody configured. No, it, it probably is this car. Yeah. I just don't see how you can add $140,000 in options. Well, look, it has wood trim. But it doesn't even have mags. Yeah. Carbon anyway. It's also got nibs, too. Porsche hasn't gotten the memo. Yikes. It's no good. Big ol' yikes. Better check in. It's become a big operation now. Big operation. He decided to turn this into a big production. Oh shoot, even Sean and May are doing work. So Jacob's, Jacob's giving us the behind the scenes tour. There's a snack machine. So this is where dealers would come to train? Correct, yeah. Okay. So this is what you do? You, you... Um, I do the managers more. Okay. I'm not an so instructor. You, so you train or deal with managers from dealerships? Correct, yeah. Got it, okay. Yep. So this is where they would come, spend 
uh, spend a week at the hotel or whatever, and then mm -hmm. come in here and be trained on product specifics. Exactly. Do they do this in California as well? Yep. So now both centers kind of do the same yep. thing. There is one in um, California, Pennsylvania, here. I think that's it. Yeah, got it. But this facility is only a couple years old, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where they train body or techs, like body shop guys at the dealerships. Yeah, this is like advanced collision repair type stuff. Oh, sweet. I want to get in there. Yeah, Mike's not here. He's in California yeah. this week. He locks it. That's smart. <laughs> Don't let anybody else in there. That's cool. I'm the only uh, crazy person that cares about these Vidmar, vid, <laughs> vid, Vidmar cabinets. <laughs> Same company that makes Lista. These are super stout. And then what is this? This so is. So this is where the PTAP program. So it's kind of like the Porsche apprenticeship program. Mm. And then the after sales training. This is where all that goes down. They literally rip that car in half. So this is uh, this is where they. That's a 918. That uh, can you see through the reflection that they work on? So that thing's been torn apart and put back together a bunch. About a hundred million times. That's cool. <laughs> so this courtyard is where they do they do deliveries come through here? Yeah. So all the cars that are delivered, they're right here. Mm. And then the bottom floor of the museum is right there. Oh, okay. So those are all your people. Adam got in all... Did you watch that video where Adam got in all kinds of trouble with people because he was commenting on the guy really touching finger? It was a joke. That guy was pretty cool. Yeah. So what is this room called? Oh, this is the uh, factory classic restoration. Oh, okay. So can you order a classic and you guys build it? Is that what I heard? Uh, no. Uh, customers can bring us cars they've acquired. Ah, okay. Or they can ask us to assist them in acquiring it, but we won't purchase the car for them. The customer will have to get it. Got it. But, uh, from that point, yeah, we can do anything from uh, uh, section restoration, like the powertrain, the engine itself, or we can do a complete. Let's check it. Oh yeah. When we do do an engine, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's stripped apart now, but everything will be stripped apart. So this is just one this one is, engine. This is just one engine, and all the sub assemblies that are in here, uh -huh. they'll get taken down and totally redone. <sighs> so like all the Amazing. all the studs will come out of the heads, all the studs will come out of the engine. Like so everything will get replated. So some of these parts will be refinished, some will be scrapped and yeah. replaced with new uh -huh. like wear and tear parts. Yes. Oh man, that's awesome. But yeah, it'll go back uh, as new. What is this engine? 930? It's a 3.3 liter out of a 91 turbo. That's a 930 turbo, right? Yeah, or a 964. Oh, a 964 turbo? Yeah. Huh, shoot. Room's pretty clean for what you're doing in here. Oh, yeah. we try to keep it. You know. Yeah. And like we do all our machine work here. We don't sub anything out. So like all the oh, silver wow. head work, everything's in house. Awesome. So this engine here will be a lot of money. Oh yeah, and it'll be you know, it'll factory spec. Oh yeah. Sweet. So then here's the track car bay. Modern balancing. <laughs> Tires galore, lots of uh, cup twos. Oh yeah, they got a uh, a big Hunter touchless. That thing's legit. This is what I want. I want this combo in my garage. So I never have to go anywhere else. Oh, you didn't have insurance for a while? <laughs> Don't put that in the video. I'll cut it out. It's a 930 yeah, turbo. This is like the where they talk to you. How much is gonna? <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is where they sit you down and say, okay, that's gonna be four hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to rebuild that, uh, you know, that 1980 SC. That's what I want to do. Oh, when they did out this guy's garage, you know, I don't want to So they take you from Raddy <laughs> to Dip. How much that was? To Whatever you call that, bare chassis, non-rolling chassis. Um, uh, that body treatment, finished, dipped again, painted, finished product. That takes a year and lots of money. Press all bottles. Oh yeah, actually those bottles look pretty nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know what kind those are. There's all kinds of undiscovered awesome stuff out there that I don't know about. And then this is the uh, this is 
This is the bottom of the museum. So say that again, that's the rough estimate of how many parts are, in are stock, needed right? or in stock. They're in stock, how much we have. So what do they come and change this all the time? Proportion so That's the target. But yeah, for proportion I think that's what I want, a 911G. I think that's like late 80s or early 80s. Although people are telling me I should probably stick with like 964 or 993. So Mission E prototype. <laughs> This is the clay flavor. This is where we're going to be hanging out tonight. And here's the other top section of the little museum here. This car is insured for 25 million bucks. I love black frames and white mat. Love that. Just like that style. Oh, it's so cool seeing all the all the GT3s all over the place. All right, so that wraps up day one. Uh, we just had dinner in the museum that you saw earlier. Uh, Adam and I got to hang out, and chat a little bit, and then I got to go make my rounds and talk to all my, my GT3 buddies. Man, I, I'm so glad I came. It's so much fun. Even without my car here, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's so cool. Just the the people, you know, it's, it's a lot like Obsessed Garage, you know, and a lot of the, a lot of these guys are Obsessed Garage members and followers and, and uh, you know, watch these videos. So it's, it's just really cool to, you know, meet some new people and see, you know, guys that I've now known for five years now. Uh, that I'm, you know, honored to, to call friends. So, anyway, tomorrow we're going over early to Road Atlanta. I'll capture some footage there, and then we'll see about uh, capturing some footage on the trip up. Uh, I'm jumping in with my uh, my friend Mike. Uh, Mike's going to take me uh, take me up there with him uh, in the uh, uh, both in the morning over to Road Atlanta, then up to up through Wolfpen Gap and into uh, into the, the the Hiawassee area where the Ridges Resort is. So, I'll see you in the morning. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor, to the floor. Foot to the floor.